My name is Steve McGann, and this is my fourth year project for uh, School of Computing in DCU. What I've done is I've collected data using this sense cam and this GPS device, and then I've put all this data onto a computer and segmented it into events. I've then set up an interface so that we can browse these events by time, people, and place. So I'll show you a sample search here. Um, this, I'm going to look for a particular uh, lecture with uh, one of my lectures, and I had it on a Tuesday, so let's see, the Tuesday, the 25th of March, so let's limit the search to the 25th of March. Right, so now we'll filter the events. We had 870 events, we're now down to 43 events. So now we can limit that even further by place. I'm only interested in a uh, place in DCU because that's where my lecture was. Now we're filtered down to 26 events. So now I can browse through the, all the events here and there. That looks like a lecture. So now we can put that up on the screen. And uh, there's Jeff Hamilton. And now we can play through the event. So there, we can see my lecture with Jeff Hamilton. And it uh, starts 10 minutes past 4. It lasts for 4 to 5 minutes, so I must have been late. This is a Merle Diamond Touch, and then uh, I can control it by touching the screen. As you can see, I can move the pointer around, and by pressing play or pause, I can move through this, and I can move it through the event frame by frame as well. Um, it detects different users, but uh, this is actually only using one user myself. So. Can two people can you sit at once, can they? Yeah. So can we demonstrate that? Yeah, if you sit down there. Oh, sit down there. Or even touch that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even if you just touch that blue. Yeah, so you can you can press a different event for instance. Or well, that's a, the same event where you have to press their face and say. So then we can what happens if, if we're both touching at the same time? Um, it will, uh, well, it depends. That, like, for instance, you could at the same time as what I'm doing this. Well, it will actually it will default to whatever the last user is at the moment. It's not, it's not designed to be used multi-user, but it can be used.